Mastering the passive voice with must. Hello, language learners. Today, we're delving into a captivating aspect of English grammar, the passive voice. But not just any passive voice. We're focusing on the use of passive voice with the modal verb must. Understanding this usage will make your English sound more refined and give you greater flexibility in your communication. So, let's get started. Before we jump into our main topic, let's have a quick refresher on the passive voice. In the passive voice, the subject of the sentence is not the doer of the action, but the receiver. It gives a different perspective to our sentences and can make our language sound more polite or formal. For example, instead of saying, John cleaned the room, active voice, we can say, the room was cleaned, by John, passive voice. Now, let's talk about modal verbs. Modal verbs such as, can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, and, of course, must, add extra meaning to the main verb in a sentence. They express things like possibility, ability, necessity, and permission. Today, our spotlight is on, must, a modal verb that generally indicates necessity or obligation. Here's where things get exciting. Combining must with the passive voice allows us to express a necessity or obligation where the focus is not on the doer of the action, but on the action itself. The structure is as follows. Subject plus must plus be plus past participle. For example, the rules must be followed. Here, the focus is on the necessity of following the rules not who specifically needs to follow them. This can be particularly useful in formal or official contexts. Let's put our learning into action with a few examples. The report must be submitted by tomorrow. The dishes must be washed before you go to bed. Safety regulations must be adhered to at all times. Remember, in these sentences, the emphasis is on the action that needs to be done, not on who needs to do it. And that wraps up our lesson on using the passive voice with must. By now, you should be able to confidently use this structure to emphasize the importance of actions rather than the actors. We hope this video has been enlightening and aids in your journey towards mastering the English language. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.